this tour is going to end up at uh, at, at near. So you know you're going to get to see um, a lot of things uh, going on uh, that went in around uh, Woodhaven over the years. And joining us now uh, is uh, is Robin. Robin, how are you? Good, thank you. Thank so, you for uh, having me. Oh please, no. Listen, it's 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 great. We want to thank you for coming out uh, to, uh, to 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 come out to Woodhaven and, uh, and and bring people out there. So what what attracted you to the uh, to the area? Well, first I was introduced to Nears Tavern, and I fell mm-hmm. in love with the place. And then mm-hmm. walking the neighborhood and learning more about really what happened there, because my specialty is gangsters and crime. I said, gee, this would be a great neighborhood to do stuff in. Let me study some more about it. And I learned also that Hollywood played an important part in this neighborhood between all the movies and the movie stars that were hanging out there and just doing movies up and down Jamaica Avenue and, of course, in Neos Tavern. So that's really what attracted me to this. And I'm very glad that we put it together, and I hope that people will join us. It should be a great time. So the uh, so so what are some of the highlights uh, of the tour without giving too much away because you want people to get you know some sort of surprise what some of the what some of the things they can expect to see well you're going to go see some places definitely where they film some Hollywood films of course everybody knows about Goodfellas we're going to talk about Mae West and we're going to talk about some crime that happened in the area that people might or might not be aware of the Zodiac Killer is one of them. A young girl that was unfortunately killed in a house over there in Woodhaven. We also have the Shamrock Bar where there was some killings at one time. We won't tell you all the particulars of it. Mm-hmm. We'll talk about the high school that's over there, Lane, who it's named after. Dexter Park, the famous baseball players. The racetracks, the union course, the history of it, what brought it about. And how... Now, New um, Woodhaven is basically a very diverse neighborhood with a lot of different ethnicities. And just to walk through a neighborhood that's not in Manhattan for people mm-hmm. to learn about outside of what's known as the city, that there are other parts here. So now what time, uh, what time does the tour start? This tour starts at 11 o'clock. We meet right near the train station, right near the Sea town mm-hmm. where Dexter Park was near the high school. And we will end up in Nearest Tavern for a marvelous lunch. It's a prefix menu uh, at around, I would approximate around 1 o'clock, and you'll get to see Wood, Goodfellows in there also. Cool. cool. Yeah, they'll be screening the movie. It should be fun. Oh, really? Okay, cool. So they're going to show the movie afterwards for the, for the folks yeah, so that if, Yeah, so you can hang out all afternoon, have some more drinks, and just uh-huh. watch a great movie. Oh, that's great. That sounds, like a, that sounds like a fun time. And if people want to, uh, people want to join, how can they... Uh, how can well, do this? you can go to the website at metronyctours.com, uh-huh. click on book tours, and on the calendar, just click on it and sign up. If you can't and you don't have access to a computer, just show up on that corner Sunday morning at 11 o'clock, and we do not take credit cards on the spot, well, but we will take cash from you, and it's $45. Okay. Now, now for, for folks who, who might, uh, who might uh, be interested in tours, Outside of Woodhaven, what other tours do you offer? We offer tours all over Manhattan and Brooklyn. We offer food tours. We offer gangster mafia tours. We offer private, public vehicle tours. The whole site is basically almost self-explanatory, and if you don't see something that you want or are interested in, just give us a call. We'll be more than happy to try and service you. We have tours in different languages. We have guides in different languages that work for us. So we can accommodate a wide variety of people. All right, that sounds that sounds great. Now, in our chat room here, we've got a question. Uh, someone asks, so uh, where where do uh, well where do your customers for this thing usually come from? Well, this is the first time, so it's hard to really uh, right. hard to really say. But where the people who are signing up so far, do you have a, a sense where they're coming from? Well, I have seven one eight area codes, nine one seven area codes. So I'm assuming that they're local people mm-hmm. that is curious about the neighborhood, or people who have moved mm-hmm. out that want to come back to the neighborhood to see. And to hear some things that were going on, we would love to bring people in from the outer boroughs and, of Mm -hmm. course, tourists that come to the city. But right now, I think it's more local people, and local people are great people because they can always add to the tour with some of their personal information. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, certainly. I mean that that's that's always that's always a big uh, that's always a big thing because you've got people who've lived here for 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 years and know uh, know all the ins uh, ins and outs. 
You know, I was born in East New York in the old Brooklyn mm-hmm. Women's Hospital. I grew up in East New York on Alabama Avenue, and from there my parents moved to the Rockaways. So I knew the neighborhood, but I never really knew of Woodhaven. Mm-hmm. And now I'm really finding out what a great neighborhood it is and how connected the people are to each other, with your health bed, of course. Oh, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, it's marvelous. I'm really liking the neighborhood. Unfortunately, I can't afford to live there anymore, but oh. it's really a great neighborhood. Well, I was I was arrested at one time. Okay, so you can so. talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get your mugshot somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was no mugshot, but I do have a picture someplace of me in a jail cell. Okay. In the, in the 102nd <laughs> precinct, so it might be worth it someday. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. Well, listen. I, I wish you luck. I want to, uh, you know, we'll, we'll spread the word. I want to thank you for uh, for taking the time to talk to us, and uh, and, and good luck on. Sunday. What's the weather supposed to be like Sunday? You guys, okay uh, it's for supposed Sunday? to be sunny and forty six. So Perfect. you can wear a warm jacket and your sunglasses, and you'll be fine. Perfect. Great. Listen. Have Looking a great, forward uh, have to a great it. Great time. Thank you very much Ed, for having me. Have a uh, good thanks, night. Thanks, Be well. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye.